you are live. Got a first five play, couple overs for you here on the show. Mark Zeno, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy who just keeps winning in Major League Baseball this month will be leading us off, and he is talking. A little first five action. I say, you say, we all say Kikuchi. He's been red eyes, been a different man since he changed no, teams. He is it's, pitching. Y'all, that is how it goes. It's a little rock and roll Kikuchi coup is what we're doing. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, we're, 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 uh, we're both doing our Chris Berman impressions here this morning. Uh, he is pitching against the Boston Red Sox, no matter what you would like to call him. And you think that Houston has the edge early in this one, I believe, sir. Yeah, and uh, I won't mention the, the – you're not allowed to mention run differential, and I'm not a, I'm allowed to mention that L word that continues to have me in misplaced despite my 21-8 and eight record this month. But we will move on. Um, yes, people, it's a joke. Relax. Uh, so, Houston, very good at home, right? Yes. Let's talk about the Houston offense. We're talking top 10 in home runs hit, runs scored, batting average. OPS, WRC+, plus, all at home this year, top 10 across the board. So we know that they could score at home. Now, Tanner Houck has been a decent starter. Um, you know, he's been pretty even on the road and at home this year. Slightly a little bit higher ERA on the road, but nothing to shake a stick at. Uh, he's been bad over the last month. He's got a 485 ERA. Um, he's allowed 17 runs in 29 and two-thirds, uh, giving up four home runs and walking 14. So hasn't been a good month for Tanner Houck. But, you know, the, the, the Red Sox are just coming off this big series with the Orioles where they split four games. Um, and now they got to go back out on the road again to one of the tougher places to play against one of the tougher pitchers right now. I mean, look, the bottom line here is this, is that you say rock and roll Kikuchi Koo here has been outstanding since he came over from the Blue Jays to the Astros. He's got 23 strikeouts in 16 innings. He's only allowed Ooh. 10 hits. I mean, the guy has been absolutely on fire. So, um, look, and in fairness, again, he, he's, he faced Tampa Bay twice in that span, which isn't a very good offense. The Red Sox are a good offense on the road here, but I'm still going to trust Houston, given the price where we are and the fact that we can get a money line player and keep the tie in our back pocket. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see it be 2-2 or 3-3 at the end of five, uh, but I think Houston's bats here, uh, after the series that they just had, tend to come back to life a little bit. Here in this spot, um, it was a very sort of low-scoring, quiet series for them against the White Sox. And uh, now that they are been able to stay home, they have the travel advantage. Boston had to go. I just like the spot here overall. So I'll back Kikuchi and the Astros here on the money line in the first five. Boston Red Sox, Mark. I'll tell you what, no pitching staff has given up more home runs since the break than them. It's been by a wide margin. I think they've given up 12 yeah. more home runs than any other staff. So that's another thing. Uh, comment down below, smash that like button. If you too say Kikuchi in for the first five for that one, I'm going to take a look at an over very interesting series beginning Monday, Mark with the twins and Padres two surging teams. Uh, this game is on FS one tonight. Oh, by the way, if you'd like to watch and you and I were talking before the show, seven is a very low total here. I know Petco is pitcher friendly, okay, but we don't have what I would call an elite starting pitcher on the mound here. Going for Minnesota is your boy Zebby Matthews. Uh, people can check the archives if you want to hear Mark rant on the name Zebby last week. Now good, I took the twi- I took well, I took the twi- you know it was a good bet. I took the Twins in that game uh, it, over their team total. That was kind of a bet independent of Zebby. They rolled. I, they won thirteen to three over the Royals, Uh, but the Royals, Mark, as we know, a much weaker hitting team on the road than at home. I thought it was a pretty decent matchup there for our buddy Zebby. So you don't really know what you're going to get with him going into the start. San Diego has the number one batting average in all of baseball, so this is a big step up in class for Zebby. Then you got Michael King on the hill for San Diego. He's okay. The team's six and one his last seven starts. That sounds great. He's been good, but he's been facing a lot of weak lineups. I just don't think this starting pitching matchup, guys, justifies a low total seven. I'm buying both these offenses after they underperformed over the weekend. Up and over Minnesota-San Diego is my half of the double play to go along with Mark, who has taken Houston in the first 
five. Mark, you will not use the L word, but as we said at the top, you are very hot in Major League Baseball right now. Why don't you tell the people about that? Yeah. Uh, 21 and 8 this month, <laughs> folks. I mean, you know, the proof is in the proverbial pudding, and who doesn't love pudding? Uh, so there is that. But, yeah, it's been a very good month. Uh, we'll try to stay hot here. Two plays up on the site, uh, including a late-night play tonight. So even if you missed the first one, we'll have it repackaged for you guys up on the site tonight. So uh, we are going to continue the cash winners here in Major League Baseball as we get ready for football season. But number one in ROI, units, winning percentage, all the stuff that I'm supposed to know about, right? People in the comment section, I'm surprised you know, does not know how ROI works. No, I do. <laughs> I just like really ticking you guys off because it's fun for me. Uh, that said, as long as I can be <laughs> cash in for all my friends, uh, even Brian Power. Yes, so there is that. Again, wt.buzz slash mz, the place to go. Can't have your pudding if you don't have your meat. And Mark meat. Zeno is bringing the meat tonight there, How buddy. You eat your meat if you don't have any pudding? It's a great yes, action. There. For all okay. you young, it's uh, a difference. If you didn't do acid, you don't really understand what it really means. Well, let's Not that see. I well, that's a different that's a different show for a different day when we talk about okay. that. Uh we could we could uh, you know it is a family show, but we could talk about the hawk to a girl because she your girl threw out the first pitch. By the way, her friend's hotter. That's an underreported part of this whole situation. No one ever says that. I'm gonna say it right now. Yes, the friend she follows her friend. along everywhere she goes. The friend didn't say anything, and she's getting all these wow. appearances as well. She's better looking than the hawk to a girl. Anyway, think, uh, I'd say one friend, I'd say <laughs> Do you think the friend hawk to us as well? I well, I would imagine yes. If if you hawk to us, she hawked to it. They oh, all hawk to them. Anyway, well, I don't know. Okay, there we go. What I I mean, that, that, that is a hawk to the alpha right there. Stop it. Stop it. The reason I brought the hawk to a girl up is because your girl threw. I'm a happy married man kitty? for the record. Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? There, there you go. That. Okay, don't, don't start there with that. Go. Okay. Okay. I'm um, to call it a happy ending. Oh, come on. Jesus. All right. Happy ending here. We hope it's going to be a happy ending uh, when it comes to the over at Orioles Mets. This program's gone downhill fast. Uh, all right. When your girl through the first. Hill? Yes. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right, the Hawk Tua girl, everyone knows she threw the first pitch out the other day at City Field. She is not on the mound today in this Baltimore yeah. Mets game. But I'll tell you what, Probably Trevor Rogers, Trevor Rogers might be worse than the Hawk Tua girl, quite well, frankly, the way he's pitching. He's That's what I was trying to get to. He certainly gives it up oh, a lot no. more than she does. That's for sure. Okay, um, there we go. Oh. <laughs> you, you keep playing it, putting it on the tee. What am I supposed to do? Not hit it? I mean, you, you can't keep setting you dude lobbing softballs at me. You know, yes. of all the all things right. you could have brought up, you brought up Octua. Anyway, speaking of which, Trevor Rogers, <laughs> he's terrible. He is terrible. Um, yeah, he should have been. He should have been spit out. Uh, neither yeah. that. Uh, the two and eleven record, the four point eight nine ERA, and guess what? It wasn't just him pitching in Miami. He's bad everywhere. Uh, tried to back him. Thought that he, you know, last week and one of the three losses I have this month were all in Oriole games. By the way, um, tried to back him. Thinking he might snap out of it. He got a start in Camden Yards, a little electric, everything else. Now nah, he's thick. He's bad. He's just not good. Um, and so we expect runs to be scored off of him. But the Orioles also going up against David Peterson, who, despite his 7-1 and one record, might be a little bit deceiving. Here's where Brian Power is going to jump in a minute and tell you, well, his ex-FIP and his expected ERA, blah, 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 blah. You know what? He's just not that good. And the Orioles crush left-handed pitching. So I'll just give you the plain and simple version of why the Orioles are going to score runs here. Uh, Trevor Rogers don't, and again, Trevor Rogers, by the way, has uh, seen the Mets. Why? Because he pitched in Miami. So um, he only made one start against him this year. Lasted four and two thirds. Did give up two runs. Um, but you know, again, uh, I, I like the fact that he's the the Mets have seen him before, uh, and they will have some familiarity with him. So we're going to go over here between the Orioles and Mets in a game that really, by the way. Kind of odd that the Mets are favored over the Orioles. Really a weird quirky yeah. spot. Feels like a good buy low spot on Baltimore. Well, I mean, I think it has to do with the starting pitching matchup. Everyone knows that Rodgers is bad, and, you know, you you poo-pooed some of the stats that I like to throw out, but here's the deal with Peterson, okay? Yes, he has a 3.04 ERA. That sounds very nice. His expected ERA, we always love when we throw the, the small X in front of ERA, that is 5.31. 
He is the fourth biggest overachiever in all of baseball when it comes to actual versus expected ERA. Baltimore is number two in runs per game away from home at 5.27. So over eight and a half is our best bet in Baltimore, New York. Mets. let us know what your best bet is down in the comment section below. Is the most is the fourth most overachieving pitcher in Major League Baseball, and Brian Power is the first most overachieving person at Wager Talk. Now that was a pot shot. That was completely unnecessary. Why would you say <laughs> something if, like that? It, it really well. Listen, you would describe yourself I, as an overachiever. I've been an overachiever my whole career, my whole yeah, life, quite the, frankly. Except, that's how you went to law school. There you underachieved. Well, then, 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 then I underachieved. That was an underachieved. Yo, why don't you just read my Wikipedia page and shit and crap all over me? Anyway, um, I had oh, I you know what? I won my baseball play yesterday. Texas Rangers hey. had it the whole way. Talking about overachieving. Had it the whole way. Yeah, I, t- I texted you after the first inning and say, I can't do this anymore. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, they came back and won. It was unbelievable. They, they des- Texas deserved it. They did, they did not deserve to be. They out-hit Minnesota for the whole series. It would have been a crime against humanity had they been uh, swept in the four games. So, uh, yeah, just to recap, Astros first five over San Diego, Minnesota, over Baltimore and the Mets. That's what we gave you today. Um, I have nothing else left for the people, Mark. I, I am on Wager Talk today, oh, by the way. Later, uh, I will be giving out a NFL win total since my NFL win total last week was so popular uh, with Carolina. People love that. In the co- talk about people loving things in the comments section. They didn't love me like in Carolina over five and a half. I don't care. I like that bet. Um, it's funny. I will be on Wager Talk today, tomorrow. I will also have a bad team going over their win total for one of my bets. Love so love we, we didn't even talk love about it. it. We are simple. You see, even though I love can it. insult you, I still. I still, you know, I still love you. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. On that note, let's cue the music up. Let's get out of here. If you have not already smashed that like button, I, I don't know what else to say. Three free picks and a Hawk Dua discussion. That should be enough for multiple likes. Subscribe to the Wager Talk YouTube channel. Lots of great content. Yeah. Every day. Monday through Friday, this show. I do the Power Five. Wager talk today. We're doing it all. Thank you, everybody. Let's catch some tickets.